Good afternoon, everybody. It's Matt from Virtual Web. Well, good morning or good evening, wherever you are around the world. Today, I'm actually backtracking and doing some videos for some old uh, written tutorials. So I am working on how to add a search bar to a page. So it's not an existing feature um, in Thrive Themes, but you can have them in, obviously in the sidebar and the footer as a widget. But what do you do when you actually want to have a um, search bar as part of your page? And look, there's a little bit of a workaround. I'm actually going to take you back to square one and do it from scratch. I'm going to assume that you don't even have a search bar in your uh, footer or in your sidebar that we can uh, pinch some code from. So what we're going to do is um, before we even work on a new page, we're going to well, look while we're here, let's create a new uh, test page. Um, test um, search test search bar save it as a draft okay so you can see our page now we don't have a sidebar we don't have a footer widget so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up in a new tab the dashboard and I probably could have just gone straight to the menu somewhere. No appearance widgets. And what we'll do is just grab a um, search bar. Okay, so this is only a temporary uh, thing. Once we've done what we need to do with the code, I'm going to come back and actually remove this. It's up to you if you leave it or not. Okay, now that from memory just saves automatically so what we'll do is go back to our page we're going to uh, refresh or reload the page right click reload F5 whatever you normally do okay so on you can already see through the uh, grayed out area there's the search bar now that's sitting in the footer at the moment I don't want it in the footer what I'm going to do is hit preview so I get a nice clean shot of the web page Okay, I'm going to right click on top and look at inspect. We've inspected, we can see the code here. What we're going to do is decide what we're going to copy. Now, I need to at least go to form. You could go to section or even div. Form should do it. What I'm going to do is copy the outer HTML. And what will that, that will do is get everything from form to form. It's copied it for you. We're going to go back to our page. We're going to throw in a custom HTML. Now, you might have a page full of content, images, videos, whatever it may be. You put it where you want the search bar. It might be at the top, might be in the middle, might be at the bottom. Hi, everybody. I'm actually cutting the video at the moment. I forgot one critical thing is when you do paste the code into uh, the custom HTML element, you need to change your um, URL to reflect your website. Just the root of your website, not the page or anything like that, but the website URL. So um, your site.com or whatever it may be. Not the page URL, just your, your root uh, site. We're going to add that. And look at that. How easy was that? So just to finish things off and uh, being the OCD person I am, I'm going to clean that up first. I'm going to go back. I did just save the changes. I'm going to preview. It should get rid of the footer now that I just removed that widget. And there we are. You've got your own search bar on a page. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.